and welcome to the Attitude Era oh. of JK News, baby. All right, we've got a very, very special hot seat today. We're all doing sunglasses. One of your favorites. We have Julia Chow in the hot seat today, y'all. The hot seat with even hotter questions, but we always like to start it off really, really cold and or lukewarm oh. with Master Bart. Go ahead. Master Bart. What? Master Barter. The difference <laughs> between a frog and a toad. Oh, uh, I don't know. Is it the size? So that's for you to answer. <laughs> if I just found this channel, yeah. would you leave? Would you I think out? I just reached into my cupboard for a thing of popcorn. <laughs> I got a good cold, uh, 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 question. A cold question. I got a really good cold question. All right. This is such an interesting chair for to be questioned. It's a throne and it's a hot seat. It's part of the attitude era. I got a, I got a good cold question. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what protects against COVID better? A yellow mask or a red mask? Neither. Those look like hats. Okay. That looks orange. Well, I just didn't have any masks okay. that were yellow and red. Right. We're going to keep the cold questions <laughs> over with Bart. <laughs> and uh Editor, if we can cut that out. A yellow mask. Or okay, let's uh, let's uh, it's hot seat. Let's ask some questions. All right. Oh. Um, we gotta stay stay lukewarm. So uh, you have to change your hair color. Uh, what's the next color? Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a really really good uh, one. I want to know. Mm, orange. Do you get com do you, do people assume you are lesbian because of your hair color? What if the question was, do people assume you're a lesbian, and that was it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, some people do. Okay, okay. Yeah. Are they really? fellow lesbians that are hitting on you, or are they just like people that assume you're a lesbian? Are they making out with you or sitting on your head? Mm. <laughs> sitting on your head. I don't know. I feel like it's a mix. <coughs> I feel it's like a mix. There's like a good amount of guys who are like, are you like lesbian? And I'm like, no. That's how they ask oh. you? Yeah. They ask me like straight up if I'm lesbian or if I'm interested in girls, and I'll be like, no. And I this know. is like, this is when I had like really long hair. Those are just anime fans. Do you so ask weird. them why they ask you that? <laughs> Uh, sometimes, yeah. Do they ask you it slowly? Or they, they just, they <laughs> just is like, we don't see you with anyone, so we just thought that you were not into guys, and I'm like, oh. Okay, so on this show, we all believe in like uh, equal rights for women. Yeah. Oh, that, so. Wow, not to brag, but yeah, no, not to so fuck, but it's a fact. So we just want to treat you fairly as <laughs> oh, all, sure. and uh, you know, everybody who comes into the hot seat, we say the same thing. So, uh, would you rather have sex with your mom or your dad? There's no, a gun to your face to. and a gun to your mom and her dad's face, and if you say no, all three triggers will pull the And there's time. a streamy over a, a, a bowl of boiling acid and that we we're, all had we're gonna answer. get the streamy, but we might not get it if you don't answer we this. We all had an answer. <laughs> to be dropped in the. <laughs> the submission deadline is August 8th. You have to be okay. serious. You have to be serious because we all answered seriously too. Yeah. You want me to tone it down one notch? No, no. You want to give us no. you want no finger your mom or jack off your dad? That's one of the questions that oh, David oh, also asked. No, no. Sex, sex, sex. Sex to the sex. I'm just women's rights here, right? Okay, sex. Um. You have to. You have to. We've all answered this question. You're taking too long. They all, they all went. We, we've had doctors and lawyers answer this question on the show. It's to save orphans all over the world. You have to do it. Go with your gut feeling. Three, two. My mom. Oh, your mom. And you say you're not a lesbian. I'm not. Seat up for you. Good choice. Why your why why your mommy? He's a mommy. Is it because of is it because of her mommy milkers? Actually, my mom doesn't have them anymore. Oh. What happened to them? Breast cancer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did she chop them all off? Yeah, she chopped both of them. Does she got the nipple still? This is a very good. I have good no hot idea. Scene. You don't know if your mom's nipple is. My mom. Don't let me see her body. I don't fucking know what's going but on. But did you? Like that. You never got curious and asked her. Thank God, my mom had breast cancer too. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. But did you ask her? Did you ever ask? You never asked. I would have asked. <laughs> That was, a, that was a poem, dude. Yeah. Just Joe in a video by himself for a second. That was a haiku. Bro. Just loaded haikus all day, dude. I <laughs> asked a tough God. question for my mom, and she had a tough time with it. So. Well, I'm glad she's over and she's alive. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to your mom. Yeah. yeah. Big, big time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would do her because I think I'm a lot closer to her than my uh, dad. Don't say it like also, that. It's emotional. It's too real. Too real. To her. Why? I'm telling you guys. I didn't know we're talking to a big time perv. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you guys could handle 
handle these answers. Ooh, Ooh, what the fuck is no, no, don't say I would do uh, her. Just because I'm dressed like I can handle it doesn't mean I can handle it. <laughs> We're still very sensitive I to can't. it. He's porcupining, you know? Yeah. He's like a he's like a gangster. Soft interior. Who's your current celebrity crush? Oh, um. Oh. Uh, I don't think I have one. Say Jason Momoa. <laughs> Popular choice. <laughs> yeah. Who would you who would you do right now if like you just had the chance to, you'd be like, I will rip his clothes off and fucking tickle his nipples. Would it be a K-pop star? K-pop, uh, you, you could anime character. <laughs> I hear Jackson Wang is pretty popular. Anime cartoon, character? you can pick a cartoon, you can pick a tentacle monster yeah. if you like Ooh, that. tentacle monster. The dimensional is not off the table. Totally yep. fine. Oh, interesting. Um, you, you want him to take you on a date, you guys could get some boba, and then you fucking vibe so well, and then you're just like, take me home right now, and he fucking grabs you like this, puts you against the wall, and you fucking grab boba, and you drink it together like oh, this. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> Um, I guess, oh man, okay. I think the only one I can think about right now is from Fruits Basket. It's an anime. Oh wow, yeah. I mean, what? Yeah, he's a Kyo? Kyo. Does he have hands or or is he more wiggly than that? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. On a scale of one to 10, how buff is he? Uh, I don't know. In the anime, they made him look really lean. Yeah, most of the Fruits Basket guys are Oh, what? Well, are you blushing right now? Why are you blushing? <laughs> no, no. I know what you're talking about. What I miss? Dude, funny. this guy's fuckable. That guy, you like ginger okay. boy? That's why you said orange hair. Huh? Okay, I guess. Wow. Oh, no, no. It was a subconscious thing. Whoa. Wow, you like orange hair. You're gonna be matching with Kyo. Julia oh. likes real sidekick looking fellas. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a real question. Yeah. Um, you've been away from JK for a while. Yes. On the street, do people still recognize you from JK? And when they bring that up and they haven't been updated because they're not fucking watching the goddamn show, what do you say to them? Oh, uh... Do you plug our well, show? Okay, well... <laughs> they go, oh my god, Julia, from Chicken Party! Yeah. You ate a tarantula! Um, and then oh. what goes from there? Uh, I feel like, y yeah. Oh, what's up? And they're like, you know, usually... I don't know, I've had fan encounters, but nothing like that, though. Fan encounters um, sounds spicy. A lot of... <laughs> super spicy. <laughs> a lot of the times, um, when they say, oh, you know, like, I used to watch JK a lot. The first thing of you like used to. What's going on there? <laughs> oh, you're repping for us. That's yeah. awesome. That's sick. That's you should fucking punch him in the throat, not even in the face. Yeah. Just go boom! Ah! But it would I be did, acceptable. I did have an artist that I was working with um, uh, when she was ending her her job. Like she was telling me, like, oh yeah, by the way, I hope this isn't awkward, but um, I used to like uh, watch you on JK and stuff. Isn't like it that. more awkward at the end though? Like I would rather start the relationship with, hey, just to let you know. Loved your shit. And then you finish the job and you're like, we're cool. But at the end of the job, like after knowing them for like five years, and then you're like, by the way. <laughs> Actually, no, like a lot of a by lot the of the way. people. I like that voice. It's a mix, because some people would straight up say it, and then some people would just hold it till the end when they like leave. That very respectful. Yeah, That's yeah. nice. They're pretty respectful. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the heat. I'm gonna turn up the heat. Yeah, turn it up. You you have now had other bosses than Barton Joe. How do you rate Barton Joe as bosses? And why? And I got another heater question after that. Uh, Remember, you don't work for them anymore. You don't fucking need anything. Say whatever the yeah. fuck you want. Yeah, that's right. Whatever the fuck you want. We actually appreciate honesty. Get him. So. Get him. I really, really, I really like my current boss. Like he's really cool. He let me get take like a month off. Yeah, that's so. Uh, every year you had a month off with us. Remember, which was fully paid. But okay, go ahead, go ahead. Just talk about just 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 talk about whatever you need to do. You need to hold a safe space. Yeah. Yeah. Witness objection. Yeah. Okay. Also, they don't let me. Like they don't. You know, they don't have. They don't ask me to do like crazy things or like clean up random. Which you missed, by the way. You told us earlier you missed doing that. She didn't say she missed that part. I'm not. I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna let her speak. I'm gonna let her speak. I missed the chaos. Okay, middle, but you know, I gotta say. I I enjoy I enjoy just working from certain hours to certain hours and then just relaxing for the rest. What's wrong with from one to twenty-four? <laughs> <laughs> so military, I like it. I like, I, like how, I, like how, I like how I like how earlier Julia said in a video, you can all see this video, but yeah. she's basically like, Yeah, I really miss this place. I miss just like I never know what's gonna happen next. Yeah. And yeah. then Joe's like, Yeah, don't you miss like we used to have to clean up my poop? And she's like, Yeah, that's literally not what I what I'm saying I missed. Yeah. Actually. It's yeah. not one of my I best miss, memories. I miss other things about about it. I miss just how random you guys are, but not not the cleaning of the poop or the puke. Okay, okay my follow-up yeah, question is this. Poop? Joe would poop the floor so, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. The floor? Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes, I mean, it was just, I had IBS yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, Julia was sweet enough to kind of like just clean up after me. Like, uh, she, I, I, I used to be called Joberman, but like, <laughs> yeah, they used to be called, hey, the Joberman's fucking doing his thing again. Just randomly, like, <laughs> 
Yeah, just yeah. having to like reach out to people that like I'm not very close with, but Bart and Joe are really close with. Oh. And I'm like, oh, hey, stranger. To coordinate and stuff. Yeah, it's like, hi. Is that what you do now that you produce, right? <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Babel. All right, so 2023. If the world gets a little bit more stable, right? Mm -hmm. I got plans because originally this is what I was going to do with Hannah. We were going to go do this train ride from Portugal all the way to Vietnam. What? Yeah. It was all the way down there? It's not one train ride, yeah. but then it's like routes where yeah. you connect from one to oh. another and it goes all throughout these different countries. Wow. And I was like, you know what would be kind of cool is we spend time all throughout Europe and like visit every kind of place and like just stay for a couple days. And I was like, what would also be cool is to be there and talk to the people. Mm -hmm. Like not in English, but like try to blend in with the locals in and the stuff. native tongue. In the native tongue, yeah. And that's why it's pretty awesome because Babel, I can actually do this where their lessons are only like 15 minutes and they have 14 different languages that I can choose from, which most of it is around the European area where mm -hmm. I'm gonna be at. Yeah, and what's awesome is they use 150 language experts to create these lessons. So it's phrases and words that are highly used rather than like the more in theory type of stuff. Like I remember when I first took Spanish, I learned how to say like business card or something. And maybe business back in the card. yeah, maybe back in the day because it was like tarjeta or something. Mm -hmm. Like maybe back in the day. Uh, learning those formal words are more uh, convenient mm -hmm. but now if you go straight to Spain or Mexico or wherever the chance of using a word like that is very little you're probably gonna ask where's the bathroom you know yeah but the cool thing is you can even have conversations as fast as like in within three weeks of learning so like Babbel's pretty cool especially if you're trying to learn like multiple languages and me I want to be a polygot one day right now I'm bilingual I want to be trilingual and quadlingual and whatever lingual and I think by that point I'll be a polygot mm -hmm. and also they got a, a 20 day money back guarantee which is pretty awesome so you could try it and you're like man I am get I ain't getting my polygot on as fast as I want then you can also get a refund that's cool. Right now, you can save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash off the record. That's babbel.com slash off the record for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Uh, kind of. You know, it's a little different though. I don't have that responsibility. My boss does it for me. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to ask you a question. Um, coming from JK, which is a fucking wild, wild west, yes. like a crazy startup environment, right? Yes. To a probably way more legit, by the books environment. Um, what were some things that you think JK really prepared you for? And what were some things that JK crazy underprepared you for? Oh, uh. She's like, did you say underprepared or underpaid? <laughs> <laughs> uh, prepared me for is like just kind of like the unexpected. Yeah, because I feel like no matter what, like, it, or if anyone were to say anything like crazy, I'd be like, oh, okay. They're like, yeah. sorry, we didn't mean that. I'm like, like I give a shit. <laughs> like you can say whatever. This is the Navy Seal of production companies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got thick skin. Yeah. No, in corporate America, some people are just like, well, you know, uh, I can't really say it, and they're like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Said it, okay? Oh my god, you're so bad. Don't Steve. tell HR. Don't tell HR. Oh my god. I think going with the flow yeah. is is what you guys probably prepared me for for a, a lot. Life skill. Yeah, wow. yeah. A, a lot of the times I was just going with the flow, and then not to like freak out so much. And then what I feel underprepared for is the amount of sheets we have. Sheets? Like yeah. paperwork? Yeah, like um... Like, like call like, sheets? Uh, not like call sheets, but just like, like um... Bed sheets? No, like Maybe uh... more sheets. Sheets for like tracking things. Uh, yeah. uh, like records. Expense. Yeah, records, uh huh, like all those things. Also, yeah. like you're in a, like an organized place. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we have yeah. no paperwork here. <laughs> Just word of mouth. You can steal money from this place. <laughs> I do. Yeah, we all do. It's <laughs> easy. We're slowly. <laughs> it's so easy. Money away. You just like, I take a camera, I take a battery, I take a fucking sound piece. It's happened before. Just put it on eBay. Uh, similar, similar <laughs> question uh, to follow that up. What was both, and you can mm -hmm. answer in any order, your absolute favorite thing about being here yeah. and then also you're literally like the thing you hated most about being here. And you hate How about it. make it an incidence too? Like what yeah, was the specific. Yeah, 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 yeah. Specific. Yeah. 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 Um <laughs> highlight and low light. 
I have so many, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you guys. Okay, okay, I think maybe. Just start both stories. No, start the, the, the high incidents with yeah. Bart. And start the lowest is a joke. <laughs> oh god. I think I think the, the, the simplest example would be um, when we were filming JK Party and um, we got into a food fight. That was really funny. The one here or the one over oh, there? Oh, here. Oh, I didn't know where that was going. Here. I got sriracha in my eye. Yes. And it's and then the sriracha is all over fucking Bobby Lee's yes. painting right here. Yes. That, those spots are when I squeeze sriracha everywhere. Yeah, and it was like moment. It was like that brown like stuff is cream. sriracha. Oh, no. Yeah, that's and Bobby Lee painted this. That's what old sriracha looks like. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so that was a high point I just, for you. I just remember. No, well, I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, a very easy example. That's a two in one. Is that it was really fun because it was very impromptu and it was just very spontaneous. And everybody was just having a lot of fun, which I really enjoyed. Fuck. But then the low part of that was that- You should've started with the low, man. What the fuck? The low part of that was there was a mess afterwards and the next morning we had JK News and it was like, there's no way we could film. So then there was like the stress of it where it's like, oh, it's so great that we're having fun, guys. But it's, we're having too much fun that we we didn't think it through. We didn't we didn't think this all through. It smelled like, the next oh. time. Yeah, it yeah, did. It, was it did. Bad. It was really messy. That sounds like fun though. Yeah. And you had to you had to clean it up. Uh, we actually had to get cleaners clean. It up. Whoa. Yeah, it was usually we get the team to clean it clean it up, but it was so bad that we had to actually hire Whoa. professionals. That's nice. Yeah, we found some like twenty four hour fucking like carpet steamer people type people. No. Oh. It was so bad. Were they like holy shit? It's just like all the low the low points of JK include like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's cleaning. Yeah. It's all cleaning. Yeah. That's why why we fucking love JK. We don't yeah. clean shit here. That's why this place is fucking nasty. Right. Yeah. I clean. I guess, I guess the other low part would just be I don't really get to see you guys as much anymore. Oh, yeah, true. Well, you're welcome to. You know? Did you know that uh, that that this place is a place that you could come in and sit down at too and like be a part of? So I could just come in randomly. Yep. It happens all the time. We might not be here, but you're totally welcome. Oh, to. so what if but I just come you in? have the key? What if, what, if, what if I just come in on like a random JK News Day? Sure. Yeah. David did that like three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People at JK. Yeah, the whole day. <laughs> David was like, I don't want to fucking sit in traffic, so he just sat down with us, and I'm like, you're not scheduled, and you're not gonna get paid, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he had a yeah. blast, that guy. I think, yeah, definitely to recap, the highest is just when we just all have fun and it's just, it work doesn't feel like work. And then I think the low parts is um, cleaning. Cleaning and also a loss That's of direction good. at times. Oh, oh explain. Yes, yeah. let's go. Hot seat. Yeah, yeah, turn it up. Seat, Burners up. Burners up. I don't know. Like. Bart and Joe, you guys gotta make up your minds, okay? <laughs> like, there have been so many times where, like, you know, <coughs> B-Toy and I were like, what do you guys wanna do? You guys wanna go into this direction? You guys wanna go this direction? And you're like, I don't know, we kinda wanna explore both. And we're like, okay, if we explore both, then, um, you know, we're not quite sure, like, how one, one is gonna do well than the other. We should probably just spend more in one area. And then, you know, we get hit with, you guys can figure it out. And we're like, mm. And they're like, Okay, we're really excited about this new direction. Let's have a meeting about it in two and a half months. <laughs> <laughs> That's not our fault. On a Friday like morning at 5.30 a.m. That's not our fault. 5.30? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the laugh is because it's true. That's Whose fault is it, Mark? It's, your, it's literally your fault. That's what you're saying. It's your fault. One of these guys that we were trying to schedule all of a sudden has a bunch of gigs or something in the middle of August. Right. Dang, Nick. For real, you so did. Yeah, the, yeah, dude. Up, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go. Me and Joe are ready to meet next go. week or even this week. Hey, in September. In September. Wait, wait, wait. You know, I remember. I remember. Oh, oh, I just I just got hit with the memory about Ooh, Danger yeah. Boys. The trauma. Okay, okay. Oh, let's oh, go. Danger Boys. Let's I, talk I, I remember, I, I remember. So I so we were we were trying to figure out a month to film right. and we had three months to choose from, which was uh I <laughs> think any many money more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duh. That's the professional answer. I think it was like uh September. <laughs> September <laughs> Hold on. Wait, I think it was, yeah, like September, October, or November. Mm -hmm. I think it was like one of those months. And I just remember being told that Bart and Joe are ready to go whenever within these months. It just depends on the other talent. You know why? Cool. Because they're prioritizing Danger Boys. It's number one on the list. Go ahead. Oh, of course. That's right. right? And so then, so then I remember, so it's like we're getting these people locked in, and then all of a sudden, the availability was gone. 
And then because Bart and Joe were like, oh, we can't do it this time. We got to do this. And I'm like, but you guys told me. <laughs> oh, I you think you, I think you came me. back in a month or something. Hmm? They came back a month later. You're like, hey, I got the scheduling a month later. I was like, oh, all those dates are booked now. No. Uh-uh. I, like, I, like, I came uh -uh. to the meeting that you guys booked a month and a half from now. Uh -uh. <laughs> I remember it was, it was these set days. And then I remember you guys were like, we need more days to practice. And I was like, what happened to all of these other days? That's practicing? Tim's fault then. Does Tim Delegato can't remember scripts? Oh. Okay. <laughs> he was like, he was like, hey, I need, I need, more, I need, I okay. need more days. Yep. Safe space, guys. Okay. Safe space. I just, I just remember Julia's feeling time. very stressed about it. I was like, wow, I don't know what's going on. I was just told I was doing this. I was just following this. And all of a sudden, I told Suhu, I was like, you're stressing out Julia, you can't yep. be doing that. <laughs> Brandon Suhu, Freaking Suhu, uh, dude. Brandon Suhu, get fucking around. Everybody, and how did that make you feel? That's right. Uh, confused? I'm confused too, because I don't remember, so I will concede to you. Uh, I was there. And um, just, just a little lost, because I was like, I don't understand, I'm just following directions, and all of a sudden, I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting blamed for it. Well, not really blamed, but like, I just felt like I wasn't doing my job right. Mm. Well, because you have to deal with the consequences, so you're being blamed because of the circumstances. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah but like no one was like straight. It was like this is your fault. It was just more of like. Well, I told Brandon not to say that. <laughs> so he's not, he's not, he's not gonna say Man, that. Brandon Suhu. I'm telling you. <laughs> you see, this is why we gotta keep things in house with yeah, JK. Yeah. And, and if in fucking Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> Yoshi came in and started messing it all up, and <laughs> what? Hypothetically, through yeah. all that trauma that you went through at JK, Bart and Joe weren't here. Yeah. Hypothetically. <laughs> If you wanted them to just say something, if you wanted them to apologize or anything, what would you have them say to make you feel better? I'll, say, I'll tell problem. you, I'm sorry, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> I have no fucking memory of anything. This is beautiful. Thank I think we're progressing here. Yeah. I'm not even gonna gaslight you because I can't even gaslight you and tell you that you're wrong because I don't fucking remember so much shit. I don't know if that's helping. Um, I remember everything. Talk about how I remember everything. Remember. Tell me what you want me to say sorry for, and then we'll have a cliffhanger ending. So I'll say sorry, and then the other part two. Very nice. That's yeah. a business. For, we need views. That way we can get more views out of there. We <laughs> worked out two videos out of one, out like of that. one concept. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh. To apologize for. She's like, she's like which she's making it real girl. <laughs> Roll with that. Anything you want. You get one apology, which one am I getting? Yeah. What's well, gonna be most worth it? Fine, you get two apologies then. Two apologies, wow. I say sorry as many times. You were fucking awesome. <laughs> <gasps> we're we're breaking ground. Right okay, here. yeah. Wow. I feel like, I feel like Let's give her the last one was I don't remember shit, but now you're awesome. You know what? She's one of she's one of the few people that I'm like um, if all else fails at life, you're always welcome to come back. And I've told you this. And I said, even if you don't want to be back, you have a permanent place here. Oh, okay. And that's why I was like, <laughs> even last time you said you left, but I didn't leave you. You're a part of JK. Oh. Whether you like it or not. Oh, okay, thank you. And so in my eyes, Julia has always been stellar. And I knew that after leaving JK, you were going to absolutely crush it outside because for her, you know, she's the type of person that always fucking goes and does it a thousand percent, never half asses. So I was like, that character, no no matter what, any 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 fucking boss is gonna love that. And that's why you stayed here for so long. Not because I just suck at firing people, but really it's like <laughs> oh. Well put, well put, yeah. well Thank put. You. Really nice, really nice. Wow, Julia, that's a glowing well, review. You deserve it though. You, you know, you you really did contribute and you were a part of it, like and and you fucking crushed it here. Yeah, you are Jacob. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Bart. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> I don't remember shit. But. <laughs> it's really good. That's what it's like being in a relationship with Joe. It's like, hey, here's how you fucked up. Here's how you. I don't remember. You, you, but you know what? You're fucking the best. Yeah. You're the best person I ever met in my whole fucking life. You're incredible. You're absolutely fucking incredible. That's and then, good. like, what are they going to say to that? It's like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's that. nice You're to right. know, because I feel like a lot of the times I was like, oh, I feel like I'm messing up. <laughs> Dodging. What made you feel that way? Uh, I don't know. I have to think about it. Yeah, you think yeah. so, or is it because of that big fucking record button right there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no, I don't know.